What if you kept zooming out forever? How far could you go before you reach the edge of everything? Or would space just keep unfolding without end? From orbit, Earth looks calm. A blue and white marble, fragile and alone. Every story, every life, every moment, all inside this one tiny sphere of light. Keep pulling back. The moon vanishes, planets appear, the sun glows at the center, a single spark in a black ocean. Our solar system is huge, but in cosmic terms, it's barely a dot. Past the icy Oort cloud, a frozen shell marking the edge of our sun's reach. Beyond here, gravity loosens its grip, and the solar system fades into interstellar darkness. Space looks empty, but it isn't. Every cubic inch hums with radiation, stray atoms, and ghostly ripples from the Big Bang itself. Even in the void, the universe whispers, pull back farther and the Milky Way appears, a spiral of 400 billion suns, each one with worlds, moons, storms, and maybe, watchers. Yet from this view, our entire solar system is invisible. Far away, another spiral approaches, Andromeda. It rushes toward us at 250,000 miles per hour. In 4 billion years, the two galaxies will collide tearing and fusing into one giant star city. Zoom out again. Now you see dozens of galaxies, our local group, moving together through cosmic space. The farther you zoom, the more the universe starts to look alive. Beyond galaxies lie threads of light, cosmic filaments stretching across hundreds of millions of light years. Between them, vast voids of nothing, silent regions bigger than any cluster of stars, it's the skeleton of the universe itself. Keep zooming. You now see the whole thing, 93 billion light years across. Galaxies form a faint bubble of light surrounded by infinite darkness. Beyond that, light has never reached us. It's the ultimate horizon. What lies beyond that edge? Some scientists think it's just more universe, endless, repeating. Others think space itself could curve, zoom far enough, and you'd return to where you began. If the universe has no center, then every point is the center. From your view, and from a galaxy 13 billion light years away, both are equally here. There is no edge to reach, no outside to escape to. The farther you look, the older the light becomes. Zoom out far enough, and you're not just seeing distance, you're seeing the past. Every image of a galaxy is a time capsule billions of years old. Look far enough, and you see the cosmic dawn, when the first stars ignited. Go farther still, and you reach the afterglow of creation itself, the light from the Big Bang. Beyond that, nothing we can see. Maybe nothing at all. But most of what's out there is invisible. Dark matter holds galaxies together. Dark energy pushes them apart, faster and faster. 95% of the universe is missing from sight. Zoom out to the limit and something strange happens. The cosmic web begins to look like a brain. Filaments like neurons, galaxies like synapses. Could consciousness itself be written into the structure of the cosmos? Some physicists believe infinity is a loop. Zoom out far enough and you'll find yourself back where you began. The universe might not just expand, it might fold back in on itself. And here you are, the universe looking at itself through human eyes. Every thought, every breath, every moment of awe is the cosmos realizing it exists. There is no final zoom, no edge, no ending. Only a universe in motion, forever unfolding, forever beginning. Subscribe for more cinematic science that turns discovery into wonder.